Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. What an exciting movie. I mean, and to think that, you know, Mortal Kombat, the game came out nearly 30 years ago and it's still, you know, uh, it's still relevant in, in a cinematic way. It's still relevant as a game. How does it feel to like take up these characters that's been played in animation, been played on video game, and now, you know, been, been theatrical a couple of times. How does it feel to like be a part of the, the Mortal Kombat lore, so to speak? Well, you know, Jamal, there's a saying in Chinese that, um, you know, what's gold will always shine through. And that's why I think Mortal Kombat is such an ageless thing. It's that, uh, it's that kernel of gold that taps into something like, taps into your imagination. And it brings you back to all the childhood stuff you went through and how much fun you had with it, you know? So it was a real vindication for me. And it's kind of like a gift to my inner child. It's a gift to the world as well. Like, I'm sure you grew up playing with it, right? I'm sure. Uh, of course, of course. Yeah, you see some of those scenes, some of those moves. It recalls something really, really um, cherished inside of you. Yeah, yeah. And, and Max, I know, I know you've done... I mean, I know you, you, you've recently directed and everything else, but you've done so much stunt work. And, 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 the, and the part of Mortal Kombat that, that gets everybody into it is all the action and all of the stunt. But, you know, stunt performance don't usually get the shine they deserve. And now you're, you're in front of the camera, so now you're getting a lot more shine than, than most stunt performers. But, what, but how much do the stunt performers play into making this, this movie such a great, uh, a great thing on, on film? They play a huge part in not only this film, but making an action film in general. Uh, in, in this case, we had a, an amazing team, you know, with Kyle Gardner, the stunt coordinator and second unit director, but also Chan Griffin, who was responsible for choreographing those amazing fight scenes. Um, and without them, we wouldn't have been able to make this film, frankly speaking. So um, they're very important. Yes. Yeah. How do you guys, and I'll start with you, Ludi, how do you guys feel about Asian representation in, in cinema today? I know Mortal Kombat is a throwback to, to ninjas and fighting, but, you know, with Minari this year, with, uh, with uh, Parasite last year, the number of other films, we, we seem to see a lot more uh, diversity in the, in the type of films that's telling stories uh, of, of people of Asian descent. How do you guys feel about the growth in that and where does it need to go from here? Well, I feel like diversity is probably one of the greatest questions that we're facing right now. It's one of the most important that we need to solve. Uh, not only does it bring more meaning, more representation, and uh, more balance into the world, but we need to get these stories out there, especially in this case in this last year where um, people of color, Black people, and recently it just, it's been happening for years, but finally people are paying attention to the fact that there's a rise in violence and hostility aimed at the Asian community um, that we need to get our story out there to get these, to get our faces familiar to people so we don't seem like something as, um, that's being treated as other, you know? We want a story yeah. like, a, a global story like Mortal Kombat where it's just humans coming together to defend the earth realm against any other forces. We want to create something beautiful, create something lasting and worthwhile. Yeah. And, and, and last question for both of y'all. What's your favorite finishing move? Um, well, Max loves the babalities. <laughs> I love babalities, but we don't feature them in the movies. So if I had to pick one from our film, maybe, maybe the dragon when Liu Kang unleashes the dragon. And um, that's a pretty good one, I think. Yeah, yeah, likewise, I love Kung Laos. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you guys for your time. Uh, be safe out there. I know we're still in this pandemic. Can't wait till we could do this in person and not on virtual, but thank you for your time. I appreciate y'all putting on a good show for this, this performance of the movie. Appreciate thank you, it, man. See you, Jamal.